How you doing? This is Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm at the factory where they make the elite bows. I'm with Josh, who's the Vice President of Product Development, and we're about to look at the Victory X. Why don't you go over this bow a little bit with me before I get on the range and start shooting it? <laughs> yeah, this is a 37 inch axle to axle bow with okay. a six and three quarter inch brace. Um, what we really wanted to do here, this bow is going to look familiar to people who are familiar with Elite. Yeah. Uh, it's been on the top of a lot of podiums yeah. ever since it's been out there. The Victory Line's been our most successful target platform yeah. we've had. What we wanted to do, we, we focused on making this bow so we could build it more efficiently okay. in production. We, we invested in equipment, uh, processes so that we can machine the riser faster, right. we could assemble it more efficiently. And let me just throw this in, I just finished a tour of the whole factory and if you want to see that video, um, Check out my channel because I'm going to put a, a video a tour so we, and we get to see some of the machining and taking place. So yeah. sorry to interrupt, but I want nope. to throw that in there in yeah. case any of you are interested that's, to check out the process. That's important because yeah. that, that was the focus on this Yeah. Um, so that we could get it to a more affordable price point. Right. Uh, there's not a lot of quality offerings for a target bow um, at a more affordable price. Right. So this has an MSRP of $849. Oh, wow. And available in black or... Uh, gray or blue. My pocket says thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, you know we want we want everyone to get involved in yeah. the sport, whether it's hunting or target archery. And target offerings, a lot of them are approaching two thousand dollars. Yeah, it's, and that's you know I have people emailing me asking me questions about it. You know I want to get into target archery. What bow should I use? And it's like, how much money do you have? <laughs> you know, yeah. I, a lot of times I tell people to you know maybe even try a used one to get started. But you know that's a lot more yeah. friendly. That price point's a lot more friendly than a lot of a lot of what's out there. So that's pretty yeah, cool. we didn't we did not take any um, we did not cheapen the materials to get there. It was all right. process related. It still has winner's choice strings and cables like all of our bows. Our, our laminate solid limbs, um, 6061 riser. It, it's just we're able to make them more efficient right, right now. Right. Well, thank God for that, right? Yeah. All right, so um, let me go. Oh, I gotta shoot this. You mind if I start shooting this let's thing? Go. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> now I'm gonna shoot the Victory X. It's a 60 pound limb bow. I'm gonna shoot a 300 grain arrow, so it's five grains per pound. Let's see what happens. This has limb stops on it, it has a solid limb. Very solid back wall. Give it a 10 out of 10 for solidness on the back wall. And 9 out of 10 for how well it stays on the back wall. You really have to ease up for that to come down. You can notice a little more vibration in the Victory X over the echelon that they have. The Victory X has a really nice feel to it, and if I'm going to compare it to the other one that I shot, um, it's a little hard too because I, they were set up with extra stabilizer in the backward direction. Um, but you know, if we compare this to to the Echelon, there's a hair little more vibration that you can feel when this bow goes off. But I really like, and I really enjoyed shooting it. I enjoyed the draw cycle. I enjoy the back wall. Um, so it's definitely something if you have the opportunity to shoot, I would, well, I always suggest you shoot all the bows if you can. Um, but it's, you know, one thing that is particularly appealing to me for someone who doesn't have much of a budget usually is um, this could get me in the, uh, the world of target bows at a, at a better price than some of the others out there. All right, now I'm at the home office as in other videos, and I want to go over a little bit of the data I captured for shooting the Victory X. Um, so it was a 60 pound limb bow, and they had a couple 300 grain arrows available for me to shoot because I wanted to shoot five grains per pound. So shooting that bow at 60 pounds, 30 inch draw with the 300 grain arrows. It came out to 318 feet per second. I know on here it says 317.5, but I've been usually rounding them up. And the decibel meter reading was 77.1. So I do think it's a bow that you should check out if you're looking to get into the target side of the archery realm and you know budget is a concern. 
hey, I'm right there. I'm one of those budget people who typically don't have the money to spend on some of your higher performing or higher priced rigs. Um, but I, you know, I enjoyed the bow. I did, I will also say, I did feel a difference between this bow and the Echelon, which I shot. Now, if you didn't see that video, check that out. I will provide a link for that in the description section of this video. Um, but as well, when I shot the Echelon, they had those a little bit more elaborate stabilizers set up on those. So that also plays into it. Um, so, you know, those stabilizers can dampen things down and make it, you know, feel like less vibration, things like that. But again, I do think this is a bow worth checking out if you want to get into the target archery side of things. And um, coming up next, I'm going to go over another Elite Bow, the Enlist, which is another uh, bow that has, you know, it's a quality product, but they're able to produce it at a little less, you know, offer a little bit more of a off a discount off of what you would consider some of the flagship bow prices. So stay tuned for the Enlist, that's more of a hunting bow. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I do ask you to please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and I need you. I can't do it without you. If you wanna help me out, share some of my videos with your friends, go to my YouTube channel, Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and check out some of my videos. I've got archery related videos and a lot of hunting videos as well. So thanks for tuning in. Until then, take care and God bless.